because I'm pretty sure the people are are over this. I'm so I say this every single time. I'm so sick of talking about COVID. I'm so done with it. But I know it keeps coming up. I know in order to stay informed, we have to talk about it. But I am getting to a point where I just go enough's enough. I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of this. And I'm sick of politicians arbitrarily deciding what I can and can't do with my time, my body, my family, and the sovereignty and the borders of these of, of our countries, not even just of our countries, but of our states as well. I'm over it. Yeah. Do you see the pathetic videos of families? I think it was maybe New South Wales and Victoria. Um, no, New South Wales and Queensland. And Queensland. There yeah. it was. There was just like short little orange barriers, but they weren't allowed to cross them because that's technically where the border was. So they were hugging each other over barriers. It's just ridiculous. And it's like, there is a little orange barrier there. That is all of COVID. It's a little orange barrier. Mm -hmm. You can just walk over it. Yep. There might be some consequences, but yep. there's a point where you have to pay them. And I know this because I even have I even have people who watch uh, my, my show, Slightly Offensive, who've reached out and said, like, they're trying to get their sp spouses here to to move here or whatever and they can't even get them into the country because of the weird vaccine laws to even leave Australia the weird vaccine laws to get here people's lives are being broken by this and eventually you're just gonna have to dissent and say enough's enough because even Kez my wife she you know she does has not seen her family either Same and, thing, it, yeah. and, and it breaks my heart because I miss them you know and uh, like we're, we're trying to expand our family soon and we're working on that I mean, we've been you know I'm sure like a lot of people questioning whether it's a good time to have a kid, except for the fact that it's never a good time. Be fruitful and multiply. They want to lower our, <laughs> our birth rate and then import a, a bunch of immigrants who don't share our values. Caught you there. Going to start having kids because um, I got to fight that new world order. But anyway. Yeah, uh, no, but I meant, but I meant, it, it, but it, yeah, but it breaks, it breaks her heart and she's gets, she's, I have to help her fight her depression because these people, well, Anthony Fauci is like, I'm sexiest man alive. It's like, no, you little bitch. I, I, you know, you, you're, you're ruining lives. Yeah. We hate you. You're a bastard. You, you deserve because to go to jail. Because it doesn't affect them. That's the thing, right? It doesn't affect them. The thing you were talking about with hugging over the borders that actually happened on Father's Day. So Father's Day in Australia is on a different day to the United States. So for Father's Day, people in New South Wales and Queensland were able to go to the border of New South Wales and Queensland and hug their family members that they couldn't see because of, again, these arbitrary rules where, oh, you can't see your family now. Mm -hmm. He, 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 be separated. And it's bizarre to me because by the same token, I believe it was the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, who is the Prime Minister of Australia, flew to see his family and spend Father's Day with his family. So when we talk Hypocrite. about... They're, they're massive hypocrites. And so while your average person is suffering through all of this nonsense, you have people like Anthony Fauci lining their own pockets. Oh, sexiest man alive. Ooh, make a documentary about me, daddy. <laughs> and then you it's have gross. these average citizens basically going, cool, well, I mean, like, I don't know how I'm going to put food on the table because... Uh, I guess going to work is not a thing now. Can't leave my house. Oh, thank you for the checkpoint. Let me hug my my son over a bloody barricade. Uh, you know, it's it's like the Berlin Wall, like Berlin Wall cold. Like it, it would like it's a, you know, restrictions back. Thank you. It's just absurd. And when we look six months into the future, the fact that this is going to be continuing on and this article basically says as much that all of the things that are currently in place are going to continue to be in place. I'm not surprised because it's like you've talked about before on your show and even on this show, uh, you know, during our rehearsal and things you were talking about how some of these companies big pharma for example are now starting to make new uh there's there's vaccination pills i believe is what you were talking about they're doing that because they're they're realizing that this is not going to end so they're going to profit as much as they can off of the situation